like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So I don't usually do this, the co-main event on a fight night. I only do, usually do it for pay-per-views, but this is a big co-main event for Mexico, Mexico City on 24th of February. We have Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega. This is a rematch. They had a rematch. They had a match previously, but it was stopped due to an injury of Brian Ortega, but it was a victory for Yair, no matter, no matter how you look at it. Um, this is going to be a great fight. Obviously, we have Yair. Yair is the former interim um, featherweight champion. He obviously last fought uh, Volkanovski and did did lose in the third round by slam with wrestling and TKO stoppage. Before that, he did actually beat Josh, Josh Emmett, who is a monster. So that's a great victory. And before that, that was the Brian Ortega match where it was a TKO, showed an injury, but still a TKO. He still won. Before that, he did lose to Max Holloway. And before that, he did beat Jeremy Stevens. So he's, he's a top guy. He's absolutely a top guy. So then we have Brand, uh, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega hasn't been that active. He hasn't, last time I thought it was in 2020, and 16th of July. Um, that's where he lost to Yair Rodriguez due to the TKO shoulder injury. Before that, he lost to Alexander Vonoski in a great fight, though. He nearly got it done by, by the guillotine. Even um, Alexander Vonoski said it was very tight, but he toughed through. Then we had it, he beat uh, Jung Sung Jung, Korean, Korean zombie. Um, Jang Chang Sung. Korean zombie and before that he did lose to Max Holloway in a bit of a beatdown for the fairweight championship when he had it and before that he did have two major wins over Frankie Edgar and Cub Swanson but he has been out obviously for a while due to shoulder injury so this fight here I am going to go with, and it's not going to be a percentage here, I'm going to go with Yair Rodriguez. My reasoning for that is activity. He's been more active. He's been in there. He, you know what he feels like to get punched, wrestled, wrestled down. He's just been more active. And obviously, Brian Ortega's coming off a injury to the shoulder. Um, I'm obviously, we don't know how long he's been rehabbing that for, how long that took, but he hasn't fought since July 2022. Um, Yair, in that space there, Yair has been winning. He's been the interim champion. He's covered a lot of ground. He even beat Josh Emmett. And that's a, he's a top flight uh, fighter. He just KO'd Brian, Brian, uh, Bryce Mitchell. So he's a dangerous guy. But I'm going to go with Yair Rodriguez. I think he's going to get the job done here. Um, he's just been more active. Um, with the kicks as well, he's more dynamic. Uh, Brian Ortega, last time you saw him, he just had more of a boxing type stance. Um, Yair throws a lot of kicks and that can put you in positions where he can get the finish. But I could, this could be all put out the window. This could all be a left thing could happen where Brian Ortega comes back and he's totally changed his style. And it's totally a different fight. He's using kicks, etc. But I don't know because we haven't seen him since July. I can only go on what I see and what I know. And what I know, I'm going with Yair Rodriguez by decision. What's your thoughts? Like, subscribe and leave a comment in Mexico City. Mexico stand up.